Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. In this episode, it's time to continue on with the palace. And yeah, we can't get in that door. So, we gotta find another way in. Or find the keys. Either way, really. But first thing we're gonna be doing in this episode is actually taking down a... Whoa, yes! That is not planned. We'll, we'll, we'll get to what I was talking about later. Freaking, yes! We got the Queen's Necklace. Let's knock it down, recruit it to our team. Just like Regent, this treasure demon, we want to grab it. Because why the heck not? Hey, join my team. My existence shall become a new part of you. Okay. That was really easy. Wow. And uh, yeah, if you have psychokinetic attacks, might be a good idea. Oh, don't. Okay, we're getting rid of Pixie again. <laughs> no reason to have her with us right now. But uh, yeah, another battle successfully won. If only they were all that easy, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Some people are like, wow, Johnny seems like he's in a really good mood today. Bro, you don't even understand. If I miss one spell, we're screwed. But no, like actually getting that treasure demon. That made me very happy, because now I don't have to worry about it, which is always nice. But uh, yeah, this shadow, pretty singing strong. I want to, if at all possible, just not really deal with it. And instead, come up here and grab a treasure, which will definitely help us in beating it. Like seriously. I'm really a big fan of the fact that this treasure is directly correlated in fighting the shadow down there, which, yeah, come to think of it, might as well take it on. I mean, I don't know. Might as well. I want to show all the shadows, right? And if we do defeat the red ones, as you remember, we get some armor. So here we have Take Minakata, who is armed and dangerous. Pardon the pun, but since we have those uh, Sai Magatama, we can beat this guy in a submission, because he's weak to just the same thing. Alternatively, though, if you don't have that item, or Matador, for whatever reason, there's a couple of ways to get around it. Uh, mostly just status effects. Makajama is really, really strong in this palace. Like, almost absurdly so. I don't know why they made it that way. They just kind of did. And because Matador is weak to electricity, which the Shadow is very, very skilled in, we're gonna just waste our turns and buff up a little bit because this guy's going next and that can be a little scary. But hey, on the plus side, we're gonna hear more of the song and <laughs> nice try, Bozo. Ain't gonna happen. Now we can retaliate again and our psychic attack does more damage because of the buff. And you kind of get where this is going, don't you? I don't know if I want to use all of the Magatama on this guy, but mm, if the situation asks for it, we might as well. Really, do not like hoard your items in this game. You want to use them whenever you can because, I don't know, they're pretty handy. Sadly, when you use an item, though, it doesn't get the bonus from your Persona stats, so they roughly all do about 50 or so damage, which, oh crap, we are not doing enough damage. This is bad. Look at his HP bar and look at our Magatamas, bro. Even when they're all out of attacks, we're doing nothing. <laughs> I have it, like, all attack has to cut the music out every two seconds. God. This is risky. Oh god, here it comes. Oh my god. A soul dive, yeah. A really nice looking skill in the grand scheme of things, but also very deadly. I'm surprised. God dang it. Makoto actually survived there, but this one should just about do it. We can heal her up because, uh, I don't know if I've done it yet, but we can toss the Crystal of Lust over to on, and she'll have access to that new healing spell. Jesus Christ, she just won't die. Bruh. Screw it, man. Let's just <laughs> show off Makoto's uh, weapon, I guess. It's a pistol. It missed. Kind of stinks, but uh, now that we have the uh, reinvigorate accessory, we should be fine. And dang, got some levels too. Not bad. So now to do what we actually came here to do, just get that will seed, just right over here. I'm surprised that was that hard, honestly. Kind of wild, but uh, yeah. There's all this yen guarding his vault. I like it. They did a really good job with it too of just, like, making all the will seed areas look unique. They didn't have to, but they did. But all right, we got one potato down, two more to go. And I'll take the SP recovery, actually, So I need to burn through a lot of that. Let's, uh, gosh, I'm just talking a mile a minute, man. I guess I'm in a nice flow state, which, you know, Maruki told us about. That's when you're, I think the actual definition of it is when you're not bored by the task, but you're also not afraid of failing either. It's the good median, and uh, this whole section of the map will forever be unexplored because I don't need to go down there anymore. Thawi, but yeah, the right fork only has the will seed in it. 
now we gotta go to the left side and knock out all these rooms where they're just swarming with shadows and security cameras. It, it sounds like a pain. It's not actually that bad. <laughs> That's one of my uh, hidden talents, actually. Making something sound extremely difficult. When in reality, it's a turn-based RPG game. Oh, god dang it. Alright, this part's actually hard, though. Guys, get back! The dog's gonna see you! Oh, never mind. He has the blinder on, but there's these little uh, cameras up there. He'll see you if you're not careful. This should be a repeat battle, though. Nothing really too amazing. Oh, look at that! He wants to join! Yo, bro! Wait, am I high enough level? I should be. <laughs> Wait! Save my life! Okay. Welcome on board, bro. Me truly in debt for you saving my life. <laughs> Me remember. I'm a shadow. Yeah, we get it. Okay. Join our team. This, uh, shadow's actually pretty nice to grab. Nah, because maybe at the end of this episode, I'll be fusing up some new personas for us to use. So far, though, Orthorus. Not really anything amazing. High Pixie and our Arobus should be enough to carry us. Who am I gonna get rid of? I guess Slime. We don't really need him anymore. Considering uh, we have Black Ooze, which kinda does the same thing. Not as amazing uh, debuffs, right? But okay. still, nothing too bad, so. If a <laughs> Shadow just joins me like that, shoot, I might as well grab it, but uh. Yeah, now to this part. A lot of locked doors, a lot of hidden treasure, a lot of shadows, which really are just there to waste my time, because, let's be honest, I'm... Actually, that was the shortcut. Crap, I was totally wrong. <laughs> to go where we need to go, it's right in here, and I'll turn the cameras off, and then we'll go to the previous room and get started there. I'm just so glad I got the Queen's Necklace done. God dang it. That actually, like, stresses me out a little bit with the palaces. Because so, there is a chance! Like, a, I don't know, 1 in 10, or 9 in 10, actually, that they won't like, appear, even if you pick up all the treasures, which kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. It's one of those things where I'm just like, uh, but it wasn't a perfect video. Boy, it ain't ever a perfect video, let's be honest, but let's head up here and uh, actually just grab this extremely loud treasure. Don't recall which one this is, but oh, I'll take it. So far, we're actually doing pretty good as far as um, SP goes, because, you know, we have Aerobus with all of those, like, multi-attack skills. We don't really have to worry about much, and I want to wait for this guy to do that. All right, so I don't have to fight him. He's going to turn around any second now. God dang it. Crap. Hey. We can use this door. Should we open it? Yes. <laughs> I just misclicked. Sorry. Touch. There we go. So now we have uh, quite a few shortcuts open up to us. If I have one compliment to give to uh, the dungeons in this specific palace, they sure are really good about that, and this can be a little tough. Hey! This looks just like my office. There's a security guard walking around it constantly, making sure I do my work. I mean, what? This should be also a, oh man. There's a pretty high chance they can al this can also be the um, shadow we're looking to fight, which is the queen's necklace. If we can find a copy of that, that would actually be really nice. Unfortunately, uh, we don't have Mazio on Ryuji yet, so, huh, we could do that. I'm thinking we knock down here, we baton pass to Yusuke, and then, yeah, that'd be really good. He uses his physical attack, and that should finish off the Nekomata. I think. Let's see. Giant slice. Hopefully, we get a crit. Oh, we actually did? The crit. That's amazing. Yusuke is tearing up. The baton pass change really did make him a lot better. Nice. Because for those who weren't aware, in the previous Persona game, you really didn't get access to Baton Pass unless you worked on their Confidant. And Yusuke, he takes a bit, you know, so it takes him a while to get absolutely strong, but our next security camera device, kick that crap down. We gotta keep up this flow state, right? But now we're ready to go in that room. We shut off quite a few cameras now. Don't think we can get to that other room now? <laughs> yes, we can on. Very cool. Alright, let's uh head down here just to open up another path and if I recall correctly, this should take us right here. Yeah, so now we have basically all the shortcuts up to this point unlocked. I don't even know why you'd need this one, but it takes us right back here. Maybe wow. this will come in handy when I decide to do some grinding, which will probably be next episode. I don't know. I keep procrastinating on it, honestly. <laughs> because when you think about it, right, SMT's built in kind of, I don't know if it's on purpose, but in an intelligent way. If you can skillfully I use skillfully in quotation marks there. Procrastinate 
your grinding, right? And leveling up and obtaining new demons slash personas. You get rewarded for it, which I think is pretty nice. But we're still not ready to go down there because we ain't got the keys, silly. We got to go up here. There we go. Oh. All right. We made it so far. Looks like there are shadows in here. Let's hide and listen in on them. Okay. How about those, uh, <laughs> intruders? Oh, are you really that concerned? Don't be. We have the keys they need, so things should be okay as long as we protect them. Hmm. Wait, you think they're talking about those two keys? Hmm, just as expected. Those are highly likely to be what opens the partition. What are we gonna do then? Beat him up and take the keys? Listen up. Really, Skull? Just look at them. They're not your average shadows. They're buff. Anyone in charge of such important keys must be extremely strong. Mm, there's two of them. Then with both of them would be tough. Plus, they could go and sound the alarm. Yeah, you make a good point. Then, what the crud we do? Mm. That's a good question. Then, why don't we split them up and beat them individually? Ah, uh, genius! And how will we do that? Remember that monitoring room upstairs? The room we got the map in? There's some communication equipment there as well. We could use that to lure one away. Oh my god, that's... That's actually smart. Heck yeah. yeah! Get him, Makoto! I agree. It sounds a lot safer than fighting them both at the same time. Okay, let's leave this part to our resident intellectual. Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> so first we need to head to the monitoring room. I think we get over the now the Joker. Yeah, let's just do it. I love that the game does this. Hey, this is where you need to go. You want to teleport? Yep. <laughs> We've already been here. We already know it's safe. We know the route after all. But before we start this fight, I'm going to swap over to a persona that happens to know the Zeo skill because currently Ryuji's our only person with that. And yeah, I want to back him up. So we're still using this Kusi Mitama we made like 10 episodes ago. God dang. Still super helpful, but let's commence the operation. Um. Okay. I'll give it a try. Are we ready? Uh, did I heal? Yeah, we're, we're fine. We got this. Um. Okay. Stay quiet during this. Come in. Security room. This is the monitoring room. We've been ambushed by intruders. Requesting backup immediately. One person would be perfect. Not two, not zero, one. Roger that. Will someone send someone your way at <laughs> I love this part. There we go. All we need to do now is wait for the enemy. And here he comes. One of my favorite NPCs in the whole game. Why does he run like that? <laughs> Looks like a football player in slow motion. I love him. Ah. There's no one in here! Not exactly. <laughs> uh, you're a liar! This was a trap! You meanieds! Die! Oh god, he has a hole in his head where his brain would be. Explains a lot, actually. <laughs> okay, so this is the Tornado Devil, which uh, unfortunately for us is actually a pretty tough fight, but yet again, Makajama. It's just so strong. Like seriously, what, what? It's just so powerful, bro. It's ridiculous. So because of the speeds of the shadows, we're free to just spam attacks, right? Ideally, Makoto should go first and then the enemy. So we get the maximum usage of that forgetfulness. And then we can just unload and go crazy. Seriously, for some reason though, his uh, offenses are kind of strange. Now I guess I should say defenses. It looks like, dang, 42 damage. It's gonna be a lot. It's gonna take a lot to beat this guy. Dude, he's only got 350 HP. It's very strange. I don't know why they did that, but I can't say that I hate it, but let's try and apply forgetfulness again so we can't get off his skills. Yeah, this game can't handle me, bro. Cause I've played the game before. Let's, uh, I was about to say, let's use our gun, but no, <laughs> Ryuji's gun's still pretty bad, but let's just finish it with some physical attacks. There we go. Seriously, that was, just a cakewalk, but we got money, so I can't complain. Job well done. We got one of the keys. He had a key. Y yeah, that's, that's kind of why we did this. Uh, guess that went pretty well, huh? Right. That means there should be only one shadow in the security room. Let's snatch the other key from it while we can. Hey. Joker, do you want to teleport straight to the security room? Seems kind of awesome. Yeah, let's do that. 
<laughs> I wish they just broke the fourth wall like that. Like, I don't know. It'd be cool if we, like, teleported or something. Now there's only one guy and his lightsaber. <laughs> Why isn't he coming back? Because something have happened. Nah. Now then. I'll be heading right into battle. We charge in there. Are you ready for this? Oh, yeah. We got this. Yes. Let's go. Hi there. Can I have that stick? Uh, who are you? We're here for the other key. Fork it over. What? Th then that calm earlier? Oh, how dare you? What I give this guy this voice? I don't even know. And hey, I recognize you and your very strange hairdo. Like, seriously. Male pattern baldness. It's, it could be a lot worse. <laughs> so, this is the raging water demon we fought when uh, Makoto actually awakened. And guess what? He's still weak to the same old crap. So let's knock him down. I gotta be a little uh, careful, though, because I didn't go for the forgetfulness. So, yeah, this might kind of hurt a little bit. And Ryuji's frozen. That's bad. All right, um, let's go for the Sukukaja yet again on Joker. It might seem like, uh, John, you always use Sukukaja, but it never really helps out. But it could help out. And that's why it's important to use. Let's, um... I probably want to be on the defensive side here and actually go for the Medea. We do have the uh, skill, which actually didn't proc, son of a gun, which would heal Joker for more, but we can just go back to Makoto. We're going to do another all attack, right? Won't do a ton of damage, but it's okay. 100 in the long run is great here. This guy only has access to Sledgehammer and Mabafula. So if he doesn't go for Sledgehammer... Oh, he just went for normal attack. That's bad. Crud. He actually could have killed Ryuji if he went for Sledgehammer, but I'll take it. All right. Trying to freeze this guy. It's not going to happen. So he's used some of his HP. Ryuji's back in action. Do we have any... Uh, I don't think we have any items that can cast nuclear yet, which is a darn shame. But if we can get this headbutt off, that would be great. And we did! Oh my god, Ryuji's so good, bro. Okay. Ideally... Hmm. I think I'm going to go to Matador and buff... Actually, Makoto. So next turn, her nuclear attack might be able to finish things off. We could be on the defensive side and go for the Diorama. But still, I think this will do it. Just ensure victory. I probably didn't need to use the Tarikaja, but ah, we got SP to blow. So, sorry, buddy. Your hairdo? It's Yucca. You're dead. Okay. So <laughs> being very uh, silly today, I guess. But that was kind of a rough fight. The other... Uh, guy was was that first time we've seen that i'm pretty sure nice so yeah makoto's pretty darn good i can't even deny it she's great for combat okay. but perfect we've now obtained both keys yeah uh oh just one moment <laughs> right over there the map i guess that makes sense for it to be here doesn't this map have a little more information than ours it does yes. all right all right you are well done queen Maybe it can tell us what the bank is like further down? Indeed it can, and as a look, see where the treasure is? Well, the most suspicious area would be the deepest part. Look here, there's an elevator that leads down. The treasure must be past there. Indeed. Sounds like our next destination. This map seems to indicate that there are areas beyond the partition as rather large as well. I'm sure security will keep getting more intense from here on too. We need to be careful. Yeah, no kidding. This is the uh, real defining factor in this palace. If you thought this part was hard, woo, we got some fights coming up. I'm actually excited, though, because I don't know. I want a challenge. I want the game to fight back. But uh, yeah, now that we have both of the keys, let's put them in the slot and move on with the rest of the palace, actually. Okay, let's try turning it all at the same time. On three. One, two... <laughs> This took some time, but we managed to force it open. Yes, I agree. The cooperation of our whole team is what helped us through this particular ordeal. All right, let's head into the next part. Dude, there's money all over the floor. So he took all of this from the weak. He's going to pay for this. Heck yeah, he will. God, I actually really like this specific room. 
That's what I imagine the Square Enix offices look like. I mean, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> let's do a dynamic little camera shot, like in the trailers, and uh, get on with the next part where the music will change to something, I don't know, a little more appropriate, I like to say. I, don't get me wrong, I like Price. It's a super cool song, but just something about this theme. It's really, like, foreboding, and I think fits the palace pretty darn well, ah. but... Wait, Joker, hi, there's more effing cameras. You're right. Ah, what, more of them? Oh. There's one seem different from what we've seen before. They turn on and off for some reason. Hmm. It might be a surveillance system that switches between multiple cameras for efficient coverage. What about this? That just means we gotta pass by them when it's not recording, yeah? That should work. There are guards to watch out for, too. Should proceed with caution. Right, so, uh, this is your little hint that they turn on, they turn off. Kind of a pain. Luckily for us, we can just kind of maneuver around accordingly and skip literally all of it. It's kind of nice. Thanks, buddy, for, uh, cooperating. You're too kind, but... Now on to the, uh, actual money pit section. It's so god dang funny. Screech McDuck over here decided to have just this really odd part to his palace. I actually really yeah. like it. It's very cool. Yeah. God, can you actually imagine? Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I get my Persona game. That's all I, that's all I care about. <laughs> what would you even spend all this money on? Probably something very, very rude. Like mayonnaise on a sandwich. I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> let's just keep stealing some treasure. And uh, the next will seed is actually in this area, which we, of course, want to grab since we're trying to get all of them. But uh, we sort of need to find the lasso area to do it. Oh, that part's so sick. It's probably the only memorable thing about this palace, unfortunately. But yeah, getting to this one's a whole lot easier. Nothing really too tough to it. And uh, let's just grab it and get out. So far, we're actually getting pretty darn lucky. If I can recruit this other shadow I want to grab in this area, we'll be good. Because then we've we pretty much seen all of them. But if we run into more Onis, that could be kind of bad. To leave this area, though, it's kind of an issue. Got to grab right here, but I'm still not done. Want to grab the uh, chest over there. Has a item use for the electric chair, so might as well grab it. Want to point those out whenever I can, because some of the accessories are stinging strong. Specifically the weapons and all, but now that we're done with that, let's head back over here. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not the biggest fan of this room, because navigating it is kind of hard if you're not paying like really close attention it's very symmetrical which is kind of rare for the palaces in this game and actually i want to fight you but get out of like the area of the camera that'd be Show nice thank you form. which i don't know my first play was like wait what the crud why the crud they change it i don't understand there she is leon she of the uh, strength arcana kind of strange maybe it's in reference to her hair it's so strong it keeps her entire body afloat I don't know, but let's swap over to Aerobus, because they're all weak to Aggie skills. Knock him down and try and do our uh, best impression of a pickup artist. I don't know. Is that even a thing? Oh, what are you doing here? Sneaking around in a bank? That is so brutish. Yeah, yeah, about that. Um, Well, we must talk things over. Does it really? I mean, I guess. Excuse me. Learn to read the mood. What? I've been projecting a don't speak to me aura towards you. <laughs> what? Are we hunter hunter now? Uh, I I didn't I didn't feel an aura. Uh, maybe maybe you should pick this. I'll try it. You noticed? You, you still approach to me. Are you a human who values instinct over intellect? Uh, I don't know if I am. If we I were to die here, my existence. Okay, it's a repeat of ones we've read before. Is there? But this is the way of life. You had a good run. There are other ways to live. Let's go with that. Yeah, it worked. All right. Perhaps I was overcomplicating things. By the way, I'm going to join you now. Welcome to see of your soul. Leon Shi. Which, my God. The amount of times I've pronounced this persona differently. It's, it's rough out here being, making videos, bro. I don't know how to say words. The frig. Okay, we're getting rid of McCoy. We don't need him anymore since we have Matador. But this is our first persona. That actually has a tier 2 okay. psychokinetic attack. Not that you could ever get, because I don't think that's even remotely true, but it's kind of nice. I want to grab this, because I forgot about it. So, we're definitely going to be using uh, this one a lot, because, wow, it's actually a really high level. Magic stat, good. 
Access to Rakunda? Good. CO? Good. Everything this persona can do for us is great. And its personal trait? Well, not amazing. We're gonna do technicals from time to time, so don't mind if I do. This lady with the very strange hair. Then again, can I really talk? I don't think I'm a fashionista. <laughs> Your hairdo's out of fashion, mister. That's, that's not me. But uh, yeah, this is a little shortcut. I know we haven't seriously even used a single shortcut in this entire palace, but I wanted to show this one anyways. There's a limited amount of safe rooms, so I don't know your current game state. Might as well be on the safe side, right? But we're gonna continue on with this portion of the money pit. I don't know what this place is officially called, but... I can't let anyone through here. You sure can't, buddy. You're doing a great job. Keep it up. <laughs> but no, we just need to, uh... Be kind of careful here. I would show these fights, but in reality, we're gonna fight way... Actually, no. We should probably show this one. Because it does have a chance of being a uh, new shadow we haven't seen yet. Hopefully, I'm correct. Oh, crud, it's a... Wait, which one's the Calamity? Oh, it's right over there. That's annoying. It's an Oni. Onis are not good to fight. Like at all. But if we get lucky here, we can just knock it down. I really wanted to show... Um. Oh, crap, we might show it here. Yeah, might as well do it. Let's toss things over to Joker. We're not actually going to use our flow state to do a really strong attack. Instead, we're going to toss things over to where the crud is it? Black Ooze. Show up, darn it. Son of a gun. Why are you all the way in the back? Evil Touch. This is a great skill to use on the Onis if you ever encounter them because they're very susceptible to it and they'll just peace out. Why fight the dudes if you don't got to? And unfortunately, I don't have uh, nuclear on any like strong and powerful personas. We're still using this Makami, which we got all the way back in Madarame. Let's just use the uh, fray here. Should blow up. And if it doesn't finish off the Oni, now he's so scared he can't even fight back. Unfortunately, you don't get the technical bonus, but it don't even matter, because eventually they'll just run from the fight. It's another way to deal with these guys, and yeah, it takes a while, so let's just auto him down. I know he's resisted, but he seriously can't fight back. Status effects are not to be underestimated in Royal. I don't know what they did to him, like, percentage-wise. They used to be literal memes. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna use ailment up. That's just silly. Are you kidding me? Bruh, that really saw me. Oh, well, what are you gonna do? We've already made it to our destination, which is actually this elevator. We gotta get the piggy banks on the way. Because the Hermit uh, <laughs> Arcana, specifically, in the past, used to be just so bad, but... Skills like Mara Karen and stuff are just not to be underestimated. They're so stinking strong, but we're good on uh, HP. Let's activate the elevator and get to the next part, which is going to be flooded with shadows. My god, not looking forward to it. Actually, I am, because it's a pretty fun fight. Not to contradict myself earlier in the episode, but yeah, I hope you like elevators. We're going to be in a lot of them. I kind of do. I don't know why, though. Aren't I quirky? I like elevators as a mode of transportation. <laughs> Why did I say that? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I got a lot on my mind. We should be able to pick this up before the dog can see us. Nope. Total oh, I should have shown off Kasumi's thing. So if you tap the X button right before you're about to be attacked, you can, um... I'm just going to do this here, actually. You can dodge out of the way. It's really cool. I need to remember to do that probably in the future, but... Toss things to Yusuke. Get his Bufu skills in there and just call us one of fight. I, it, the fights are so short if you know what you're doing in P5R. I feel like abridging them is almost pointless. Like, bro, Atlas understands that I am incredibly impatient, and I love that about them. Let's uh, just do this again, and we'll end it. Unfortunately, I miss. And also, unfortunately, <laughs> this means you don't get to hear a lot of the battle music, but you know, I imagine maybe at some point, I don't know. Yeah, we'll do it. Screw it. I'll make the game even harder. There is a higher difficulty because at this point, we kind of have a firm grasp on things. Assuming we don't miss and all, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, thieves are at it again. Takamiki got some EXP. I don't mind that one bit. So, here we go, this big effing room. God. Do you hear something coming from below? <gasps> it's him! Ain't that Kanashiro? What's he doing down there? It is difficult to hear what he's saying from where we are now. I don't know, man. I got some pretty big ears. I think I could listen. Oh, <laughs> no. We gotta just race down there. Unfortunately, this place is covered in shadows, but one of them is guarding a pretty helpful treasure, which 
I don't know. You might pick up. I have a ton of uh, lock picks. And come to think of it, there have been a couple times we're having some extra uh, firepower on our physical attacks. As in, you know, the ones we use all the weapons would have been nice. So, I sadly haven't encountered the Yakshini uh, shadow yet. But we could see that in the next layer, which will be coming up on soon. But, yeah, you know what? Let's treat Queen to something nice. Give her some, ar like, weapons. These aren't anything amazing, but the Knuckle Dusters will save us a bit of money. And we can sell them for later, so it's not bad. And Looks like it performs better than what I have now. It'll be alright if I tried using it. Uh, yeah, go for it. I understand. Thank you. This is great. Glad you like it. She sounds very sincere. Like, thank you so much for the bronze knuckles. I love them. Glad to help, but, uh, yeah. I just gotta concentrate a little bit. <laughs> Seriously, not the hardest part. No, truly, this part is not hard. The hardest part of making Persona videos, actually reading. It's harder than you think. But, uh, yeah, up there's Kanashiro and a very menacing goon. So, don't mind me while I use this safe room up here to prep for the next fight. Okay, we're all saved up. Let's get ready for our third mini-boss of the area. This is a tricky one because, depending how the fight goes, you can have a lot of different outcomes, which is why we're going to be using the Persona. Where the crud is it? Uh, Orobus, because it can basically cover us in any situation. Marakunda is just really great to have. And dang, if we get one more level, we can actually get Makajamon on this persona, and that'd be great, but uh, his luck stat kind of sucks, but we can pass it on. Alternatively, if I get another level on Joker, we can make a new persona, which would be really nice to have for this fight, but we'll make do. Now then. We may enter a battle if we get any closer. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, why not? I think we're fine. I hope. Well, I guess we'll see. Hey there, buddy. Kanashiro. Oh, God. <laughs> you. How'd you get this far? What about my security? Sorry, that crap is a piece of cake for us. Well, I wouldn't say it was that simple. <laughs> hey, finish off these vermin here. Keep them away from the elevator at all costs. Yeah, sure thing, boss. Here I go. The Oni Trio of Kinki, Suiki, and the other one. You know who I'm talking about. Is a pretty rough fight, but we got multi-targeting skills, so we're gonna be fine. We missed. That's bad. The guy in the center is definitely the scariest, so... Oh boy, this could be rough. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna check who's going up next, which is definitely that guy. I'm gonna try and silence him, so we can't get his buffs off, and that'll work out perfectly. Seriously, like, I don't know why these really brutish ogres are so skilled at, uh, using... Mostly spells. It's kind of odd. You don't think that- Oh, we got the freeze! Yes! You don't think that would be the case, but it truly is. Um. Let's actually go for the Zeo would be nice here. And we'll get one more attack. So then we can cast Marvacunda. Yeah, there we go. Unfortunately, the freeze isn't on him anymore. I was really hoping he would get static, which lasts longer than freeze, but what are you gonna do? I think this is a fine compromise. We could try and get it again, actually, on Ryuji's turn, which actually happened. Holy crud! Makoto is just so nice to have here. Unfortunately, the Mabafula! Froze a lot of us. That's bad. Oh my god, Ryuji just barely survived. Crap. This is so... I probably should have used a new persona, but... Yeah, this went sour real fast. Okay, this is so bad, it's not even funny. What do I do here? Uh, Vicious Strike will be a technical on the center Oni. Can keep, which will give us another turn. Oh, we got the, we got the bonus too. Holy crud. Let's do it again! Dude! Yusuke is tearing it up in here. Oh my gosh, kill it. Okay, let's go for the Zeo. We sadly can't baton pass to, um, Makoto, which would be really nice to do here, but we'll survive. Um, kind of want to think about this. I want to definitely get off of Matador, if at all possible. Mm, or not Matador, switch to Matador is what I meant to say, but I don't even know about that, actually. Dude, let's use Leon Shi. Um, we don't have any status effects here, but we'll at least be safe. I think we can just burst this guy down. Unfortunately, don't have access to, uh, the accessory, but... This might be enough damage. I'm going for it. Come on. Oh, so close. Yes, yeah, so far. It's fine, though. Um, He's already knocked down. Crap. Let's just go for the physical on this Oni. Ryuji's really low, but we'll be okay. He's getting back up. What do you got for us? Uh, Makoto's down. All right. This is rough. Not the most stylish of fights, but we'll be fine. All right. As long as uh, 
No, now we don't have access to nuclear. Crud, bro, this is rough. And the center Oni is really resilient to physical attacks. That's why we needed the technical. Mm, he's so resilient, it doesn't even affect him. Crap, okay. We can still salvage this. God, have we heard this part of the song before? I don't think we have. I need to think. How do we deal with the center guy and this guy on the same turn? I think, I think this is the play. Knock him down. But no, he can still just go for physical attacks. Crap. This is rough. His defense is still down though. Let's just try and burst him down. If I haven't mentioned it, the center guy does not have a weakness. So we gotta play very careful. Makajama might actually be the play. Yeah, I'm doing it. Hopefully it connects. Yes, we got it! Holy crud, awesome. And then, uh, just buff up Joker with Tarukaja. And <laughs> just hope we survive the next round. Oh crud, this is getting close. He can't do- You can't do that! No, sir! Alright, we're good. The fight's ours. And if we don't get the freeze here, it's pretty much over. Let's, uh, head into Leonchi. Go for a CL. Come on. No! Okay, we're fine. I keep saying that. Oh, no, no, now we're fine. Now we're fine. Alright. A little tricky. I think it might be about time to make some new personas. What do you guys think? But, uh, yeah, it sucks Makoto didn't get EXP for that, but she'll catch up eventually because of diminishing, uh, returns, which... So how EXP works in this game, if you didn't know, but level 22, which means a new persona for yours truly. And new skills for Ryuji, all right. Dang, I actually wish we had that around this time, but Yipachira on Morgana and counter for Yusuke. Not bad, not bad at all, but yeah, that was really tough, crud. Where is Kanashiro? She sounded scared in that, but I made her angry. <sighs> Took off while we were busy fighting. Hmm. Yes, but he seems to have been in a hurry. He left this behind. His wallet? Uh, it's a journal. Let us see what lies inside. R equals C equals zero. I equals one, H equals two. What could this mean? I don't know. The pages afterward have been torn out as well. Could it be a code of some sort? Can't remember his own password, so he wrote him down. Who does that? <laughs> We're not gonna figure this crap out now. Let's just keep going forward. Yeah. Good idea. Concerning Kanashiro's reaction, this elevator should lead us to the innermost part of the bank. Okay, let's go. If so, it'll be the most secure area as well. Let's make sure we're ready for whatever awaits. Yeah. AKA, getting Makoto not one HP anymore. All right, let's do that, and we're good. Here we go, guys. The last part of the palace. As you can see in the upper right-hand corner, we are far ahead of schedule, but yeah, <laughs> kind of burned through this place kind of fast. Quite the fan, but uh, believe it or not, we still got a lot to go. Hey, look! What the hell? Are these all vaults? How messed up is this guy? We're supposed to check all of these for the treasure? Hold on. This distinct shape. Could it be? What's the matter? If my prediction is correct, we won't need to check every single one of these small vaults. For real? That is, I hope. I'll explain why once I've confirmed my theory. I seriously hope so too. That's. Good, I guess. If Makoto's theory is correct, yeah, we don't have to check every single one of these. Like, seriously. The sheer scope of this last part. I love it. Like, how much storage does one guy need? It's so silly, but, uh, there's a safe room right over here. We're gonna take a break from exploring for a little bit and head over to the Velvet Room. And I don't know if I've highlighted it before. I also changed Morgana and On to these costumes. On in particular is very nice. It's got a nice hue of red to it. Best Phantom Thief. Anyway, let's head to the entrance and craft this new persona. If you're following my guide, this is actually a really nice one to get because of our advancement, aka our spamming of the Temperance Arcana, which, yeah, my bad. <laughs> I know it's not everyone's favorite, but seriously, it's super strong. And uh, if you picked up the Queen's Necklace, you too can create this persona with relative ease. We're going to be taking that Makami fellow and fusing it with the Queen's Necklace to create... Oh boy, where the crud is it? Am I wrong? Where the crud is- oh, there it is, okay, <laughs> I was super scared there. 
Jikuten, which is a very, very strong fe Look at that stash, bro. Look at it. It's amazing. He's seriously strong. Also known as, oh god, I'm going to butcher this, Duritra Rastara. He is the protector of the East and is one of the four heavenly kings of Buddhist origin. He helps maintain the security of the nation. Well, since we're in a bank, which is supposed to be a very secure area, I think it's fitting we summon this guy. And God, I can't complain with those bonus stats. Let's get to so it. So, like to this might take me a while to decide. It decreases SP of healing. That's not what we're going for. Support skills, though, could be very, very nice to have because I want to create this persona, not because he's resistant to physical attacks. That's a big part of it, but also the last skill he's going to learn, which is really going to help us in an upcoming boss fight. So, yeah, I'll take that. And as far as skills go, Secunda. I love this skill. I love the feeling of dodging in SMT and Persona games. We're grabbing that. Recarm, also not bad. And it's level fangs. It's not bad. But Assault Dive is way stronger. So will receive significant I think these are pretty great skills to have. This Persona is only going to get better. I know he might not be the coolest to you. But seriously, this guy at this stage of the game, he's great. And really going to help us out. I am Jikuten. Peace and security are my duties. I shall be your mask and grant you my power. And because of our teacher, which is also a maid, this does not really reflect who the frick this guy is. I guess it kind of does. We're going to get a lot of bonus EXP onto him. In two more levels, he's going to learn a skill, which is just so nice to have, and we're going to get those super easy. So yeah, we have an amazing new physical attacker. Heavy physical damage. Bro. And defense master too. So good. I love this guy. So, yeah. Now that we're done with that, let's call it here for today, guys. In the next episode of Persona 5 Royal, we're going to resume our exploration of the bank. So see you guys then. Bye.